So this is week three, the final week of the excavations and it's all hands to the pump um, now to get things done and understood as much as we can. So in the trench behind me, which is trench three, over the top of the villa, things are coming along really nicely. We've now got burning or evidence of burnt material in the hypercoarse flue, confirming that it is a flue. So that's really exciting and hopefully that will give us an indication of the sorts of things that they're burning to make the heat for the villa. We've also digging out all the rubber trenches or where they appear to have actually deliberately dismantled some of the walls to rearrange the layout of the villa itself. And out of one of those, we've actually had a key piece of dating evidence. And the piece of evidence is this beautiful, really good condition and quite rare example of a coin of the Emperor Constantine, dating quite precisely to 306 to 307 AD. I thought this is a local dig. I've always been really interested right, so in archaeology. I thought I'd give it a go and help out. I'm just really grateful that having the volunteering opportunity to have a go. I'm enjoying working with the students here. I think it's important to volunteer because something which I think connects us to our past is very important. I feel quite privileged to be part of this. It's been brilliant. This is the fourth day and it's just so exciting. A thrilling, rewarding experience doing something like this. You know, being part of a team or working towards the same thing. It's, it's, been, it's been great, really great. So the pressure is really on now to get try and get some results. Clearly it is a very complicated and complex Roman building. In terms of finds, we had a very, a very nice decorated bronze pin off the site and we've had some nice quite late black burnished ware pottery. So we're getting some interesting Roman material and it's really, I think, looking really good. So update on Trench 2. Say hello Trench 2. <laughs> Very enthusiastic hello, considering uh, how good this trench is turning out to be. We have a rectangular structure which is east-west aligned. The upper demolition contains medieval pottery. So we've got a building that has been built from the demolition of the villa. What we think we might have now is a chapel, actually. We know that this was located in a small enclosed field called Chapel Croft. Big giveaway, really. <laughs> What's happened, Chris? Uh, we got a maker stamp on one of our, ironically, Roman tiles that's come out of our medieval building. But obviously it's come from the villa and you can see past the maker stamp. We'll be able to tie that down. On the other side, the very small remains of dog paw print right in the corner. Not very clear, but it's there. And you get it quite often where they've air dried the tiles after uh, they've been made and before they've gone perfectly hard, a dog has walked over them and left a nice little impression. Awesome. Caroline. Holt tile stamp. Well, that is quite cool. Yep. So we've got our military connection. Yep, military connection. Well. Sort of. Brilliant, yeah, so if you can small find it. It's always last the last day. day. It's always <laughs> the last day, always. Fantastic. <laughs> Better late than never. So the excavation has been hugely successful. We've identified the first Roman villa in North East Wales. We've revealed it. And I think for me, the questions that that's raised about the, the Roman period in North East Wales, but also the more specific questions about who lived here, the types of activities they were doing, what sort of farming were they doing. That for me is going to be really exciting trying to work that out moving forwards. It's been fantastic. It's been quite an exciting dig actually because we've had so much archaeology that is really clear to see. It's made it really enjoyable. But it was just really good. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful location. Uh, it's my first dig and I've had a, a really great time. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely going to be back. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to be back too. <laughs>